pretty close. It tastes just as... I want to say it's just as good as chocolate chip cookie dough. Let's call it spade a spade. Um, chocolate chip cookie dough is chocolate chip cookie dough. However, comma, um, this is satisfying. That's the bottom line. If you want something satisfying, something yummy, um, and you're on a diet and you're watching what you're eating, or even if you're not on a diet but you just like cookie, cookie dough, chocolate chip cookie dough, you will be happy with this. You will be satisfied because it does taste like chocolate chip. I don't think I said vanilla, but we're going to be using vanilla. Okay, guys, here we go. We're done chit-chatting. We're going to add the two sugars. This is the half a cup of white sugar. And then we're going to add one-fourth cup of firmly packed light brown sugar. And right now, we're just going to cream those together. Okay, guys, we're going to add now two teaspoons to the mixture. And again, that was five tablespoons. I use, I always use salted butter unless, um, oh, you could use unsalted, unless I'm making my homemade um, cinnamon rolls that taste exactly, exactly, no exaggeration, no nothing, exactly like cinnamon bun, exactly. And I will be, I have two recipes out there, but I will be doing another one where I do exactly Again, step by step, but with all their um, measurements. So here we go. Mix this in. Thoroughly combine. And remember, there's no eggs in this. So now we're going to use one and a half cups of our almond flour. This is the finely ground kind. Let me put the light back on. So you can see, this is the texture of what it's going to be like. Okay, just like your regular cookie dough. And you can see how light. This is like powder. All this is is ground almonds I mean, and if you can't eat nuts then you won't be making this but this is totally this is a non-bake edible cookie dough recipe everyone likes cookie dough okay so now i'm going to mix this guys you could do this by hand but if you're going to use it with the beaters very quickly on low gently so I should be doing this by hand, and now I'm going to continue by hand. Okay. Guys, I threw one-fourth of a teaspoon of salt in with that flour before I added it to the other mixture, just so you know. One-fourth teaspoon of salt. I have this mixed together, and it comes together. See? Now, what I'm going to do is um, four to five tablespoons of heavy cream. So... I only have my half a tablespoon. My husband lost my tablespoon. So I'm going to start with three tablespoons, which is six half tablespoons. So here's one tablespoon, two tablespoons, three tablespoons. Okay. And you could, if you need it, you could add a little bit more than five. But we're just going to make this all come together now. And these store really well in your freezer. So if you're on a diet and you just want to treat, you know what I'm saying? And you know, you know how it is to be on a diet or watching what we're eating. You can pull one out of the freezer, let it come to room temperature. And voila. Guys, I think this may be good. Maybe a half a teaspoon more. Doesn't really need it, does it? Good luck. There you go. All right. Let's do another half a teaspoon. Tablespoon. tablespoon half a tablespoon. Okay, now I'm going to add, it was one third cup heaping, one third heaping cup of semi chocolate chips. You could use mini. I'm using regular because this is just like a regular chocolate chip cookie dough. I'm just going to carefully, carefully, without trying to break them, fold this in. Okay, we'll be back. My husband said it was a little too wet, so I added a sprinkle. Which I, I, I should not have listened to him, but I added a sprinkle more of um, the almond flour. So if you don't want to, guys, start with three tablespoons. You don't have to add an extra half a tablespoon. It's according to your liking. I didn't find anything w w wrong with it. Plus, it's going to set up in the refrigerator. It's just like cookie dough. So maybe he hasn't eaten cookie dough in a long time, but it's just like cookie dough. Hey guys, I roll these into, you can use a cookie scoop, but I just roll them into about 
one inch, one and a half inch balls, but a little smaller than a golf ball. And if you're old enough, you may know what a 25 cents gumball is. Remember, when you used to go to the grocery store, they used to have those gumball machines. You would put a quarter in, get a big gumball. Um, something like that, maybe a little bit bigger. The bottom line is, in case you're asking, can you bake these in the oven? No, you cannot. You cannot bake this recipe in the oven. There's no eggs in it. Um, and there's no leavening agent in it. There's no baking. There's nothing to make it rise. So, no, you cannot. Um, number two, you could put this in the freezer for about 20 minutes to harden up, or you could stick it in the refrigerator for about an hour. Um, it tastes similar, very similar to cookie, chocolate chip cookie dough, but it's not as sweet. So, we all know what cookie dough tastes like, and it is totally, there's nothing that compares to it. We know that. But this is a, a runner up. Um, and it's satisfying. And especially if you're trying to watch what you're eat, you're eating and cut back on the sugars and you're just, you know, and you get a craving for a chocolate, stick these in the freezer, pull one out. Like I plan maybe having one, maybe one a month. If I want it, if I want two a month, Hey, I'm going to have two a month. And if I want three a month, I'll eat three a month. The point is, um, it's a snack in the freezer that kind of can be a little bit naughty because there's the sugar in there. It's the chocolate chips in there. Um, but hey, if that's going to keep me on a diet, right? Well, then that's what we're going to do. Um, so anyway, I just wanted to say that, or guys, if you, if you just want to make this for your kids, if they like eating cookie dough, um, and obviously you're not going to give them the cookie dough, right? Because of the eggs, make this. And then they think they're being naughty and they're eating cookie dough, right? Um, and it, and it tastes, it tastes, it tastes decent. It does. It tastes decent. So anyway, let me go get this in the free, um, the refrigerator and we'll be back.